what's going on my youtube fam welcome to the first travel vlog that i'm going to do for the channel we are currently here in biloxi mississippi at the bow garage casino slash hotel resort and it is a beautiful beautiful place to come and visit so we left birmingham yesterday um saturday around three o'clock uh and then we made it here last night around 8 15 8 20 ish so pretty easy drive probably the easiest one i've done so far and uh, we, we didn't have any issues except for like a slight hail, rain, like little tornado on the way here. Had to pull over for about two minutes just to let that pass. But after that, it was pretty much clear. No traffic. It was like open road most of the way here. So those are things I know I love to hear. As a traveler, when I'm driving, I like open road. And we got here um, in no time. So we pulled up last night, 8 o'clock, and the whole strip was kind of booming. It's spring break time. People are here with their families. You got older people here to gamble. Uh, you know, people are just out enjoying the weather here. It's very nice at the moment. It's beautiful. Uh, the hotel room we have is nice. It's like a king size bed. We had an ocean view. Uh, I'll be showing you guys a little bit later, so stay tuned. But I'm really enjoying it so far. This is my first time here in Biloxi, and I can say that I definitely want to come back. People are out on, on boats and parasailing and stuff. It looks really fun. So I hope I can kind of maybe try a little bit of that out as well I hope you guys uh, like it if you've ever been here before let me know uh, drop some comments like shares all the good stuff I'm gonna be bringing more content also I'm vlogging on a camera for the first time so I hope the quality and the audio sounds um, nice I'm experimenting with it so just bear with me and yeah man uh, welcome to the first travel vlog thanks for watching as always stay tuned we got more to come Here is breakfast for champs. So, to the beach finally uh, we got here we went to the mall earlier did a little walking around we got a pretzel and finally made our way here to the beach now just trying to soak up some sun and have a good time uh, it's not a lot of traffic for a Sunday which is pretty solid there's actually a lot of places to park as well so you shouldn't have any issues with that if you ever want to come here uh, I, I remember a few months ago we went to Orlando and we went to one of the beaches there and we kind of had a hard time finding somewhere to park our car but None of that here. They have parking lots and they have plenty of spaces on the side of the road that you can park. And uh, this is actually probably about five to 10 minutes away from the hotel and the resort. So we're really not out of the way by coming here. We can get there and back to where we need to go. Everything you need when you come here is pretty much on the strip. And uh, it's, it's very beautiful out here. The seagulls, uh, the families, the kids and so forth. It's just a really nice vibe, so. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. This is only my second time ever coming to a beach. 
Uh, the first time was in Orlando and I kind of fell in love with it. I was kind of sad because I only got to stay a little bit, but this time we should be able to fit, at least stay a few hours before we have to head back because we have reservations uh, later on at the sugar factory. So it's pretty cool so far, guys. I can't lie to you. It's beautiful. If you uh, have the opportunity to come out here, I definitely recommend it. Uh, pretty cool. So we just left the beach. It was a cool, nice little vibe. So we're back at the hotel room now. We're going to get changed back into some more clothes for our reservation tonight at the Sugar Factory. I believe that one's in a different casino um, slash hotel, but it's literally right down the street. So we got our reservation there around 7.30ish, so that's going to allow us to kind of wind down for a little bit, get changed, and go back. Uh, the beach was cool. There wasn't a lot of people there. Uh, would have probably liked to go out a little earlier if the sun was like a tad bit hotter because it kind of got a little cooler as we left but it was nice it all worked out just fine like I said plenty of parking plenty of beach nice water and, and everything uh, next time when I come back I do want to probably try to rent either a jet ski or maybe hop on the boat so I'm looking forward to that also finally got to break in my uh, Adidas swim trunks that I didn't get a chance to wear when I got them last time so that was pretty cool I liked it so um, yeah we're gonna get ready for dinner and then be back in a little bit stay tuned <laughs> Sugar Factory uh, drink that they make you, but 
The food was really good. Um, it can be a little pricey. If you want to get one of those drinks that kind of makes the smoke, one of those is like $36. So um, you have the options to share, but I went ahead and just bought two. And then we had our own meals, and then we had an appetizer. That stuff can add up. So um, definitely um, save some coins or be prepared to drop at least 100 if you go there, if you want to kind of have a good experience. You can also buy candy as you're leaving. Um, that was at the Hard Rock Hotel, which is pretty cool. Um, compared to this one, compared to the to the bow, um, I feel like the Hard Rock is probably a little more up to date. But this one's not bad either by far. I think if you can get a room at, at either resort or hotel or casino, I feel like you're winning either way. So just take that into consideration. Um, but yeah, it was a good night. It was a really good dinner. And um it was a really good dinner, so um, I think we're going to head back downstairs in a little bit and do a little gambling because we haven't really touched any machine or anything since we've been here. And then I guess we'll see what tomorrow holds. Alright you guys, last day in Biloxi, last day in the room. We are getting ready to head out today. We uh, came back from the sugar factory last night and those little uh, bowls that they uh, pour the drinks in they hit so hard we pretty much came back here and went to sleep we played no machines we didn't do any gambling we just kind of been chilling doing what we wanted to so the plan was after the sugar factory last night to come back and actually hit some of the machines but that did not go as planned so instead we're up today we woke up a little earlier um, it's a four-hour drive back to Birmingham so we're probably gonna leave here at sometime early afternoon and um, do that I think we're gonna try to make it to the outlet mall today as well but it's uh it's been a pretty cool trip I was just gonna show you guys the room really quick so uh, let's see this is the bathroom of course here pretty cool this is like the, the shower here that has really and I do mean really strong water pressure that will put even Aquaman to shame so that was pretty neat it's got a little makeup mirror here um, turn that on I thought that was pretty cool makeup mirror there one sink of course uh, it's like a kind of jacuzzi tub almost it's very comfortable uh, let's see what else we got the wall art here it's just a closet with the ironing board and uh, there's actually a safe there as well if you want to put any of your belongings here there's a safe for you and for some reason there's a picture of a guy in there it's neither here or there though close that up it also seems to have an automatic light that shuts off when you close the doors fully um, has, I guess it's like probably a 32 inch maybe Sony TV. Well, that's a Samsung. Uh, not all that impressive. We got two chairs here, nice table, and here's the window, of course. We got the ocean side view room, of course, and as you can see, plenty of ocean for you to see. We even had a great view of the pool down there. We didn't even go down there either because yesterday was a bunch of people out there and it just really wasn't on our agenda. So Nice view overall. I think the room was worth it. Got a queen size bed there as well. Very nice pillows as well. Uh, very comfortable. And then the stands. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a king. King size bed. I don't really know the difference, but it was pretty comfortable. We got some good sleeps on there. King, queen, whatever. Um. So yeah, that guys, this is pretty much the room here. Um, this was, I think, I think this is normally like... Per night it's probably like north of 150 um, I got a few discounts but I would say it's worth it if you want to bring your family here because this actually is a double room as well so if you can save up and maybe want to spend a few nights here I definitely recommend it it's like a cool vibe and you can't beat that view and this is actually way better than the hotel we went to in Orlando so um, I think it's money well spent just saying